Hello, we're going to cover the basics of using Google Drive and setting up organization. First thing to note, when you open up Google Drive, you're in the My Drive window. And you can tell by looking over on the left side of the screen, you can see that it's highlighted in My Drive. Other places that you might be is in the Shared With Me area, the Recents, and you can even go to the Trash to faint, see things that you've deleted. Shared with me is a good area because that is where you have documents that I have shared with you. Usually when I share with you things from Google Classroom or when other students share things with you. You can make copies of those and put them into your My Drive and then from there you can organize. At the very top you have this new button. The new button, once you click it, It'll allow you to add new folders, upload files, and create a variety of Google-based files. And if you click more, you can see that there's a couple more things that are possibilities that you can use. You can also reach this by on the, uh, the My Drive area. If you right-click, it'll take you to the same thing. So you can create new folders and new documents. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to just name this new folder or new class. Uh, you will put digital photography or you will put contemporary media and art or AP media and art, depending on what you have in my class. I'm going to create created and you can see that I can click onto my new class and it'll take me into this area. From here, I can make new folders and other documents. Use this to start setting up organization for yourself so that you can organize all your files. Um, I'm going to create uh, project one, and I'll make some, uh, some other things. Uh, I'll pick another project two. So we can just simulate having a couple different things inside of here. From here, you can edit these by right-clicking onto the folder, and it'll give you some options of sharing this with other people, adding a shortcut in the drive, moving it to another area, renaming it, and recoloring it. I like to, personally, I like to recolor things, and I'll put it into somewhat of an obnoxious color so I can differentiate which ones I'm working on. So if we're working on the second project here, and we've already passed this project, um, this will help me guide to where I want to be. And then you can easily change that color back to something neutral and then highlight a different one at a later point. Now for adding files into, photo, uh, into Google Drive, what you can do is you can very easily drag fold, uh, things directly into Google Drive and it will upload them and place them into your file. From there, you can drag them into specific files or you can right click on it and go to the move to section. This will bring up a little menu and you can say where you want it to go or if you need to go back to uh, a files before and move it into those and I can maybe move it into assignments and move it there, but I don't wanna move anything right now. The last tip that I'm going to show you is up at the very top, you can see that we're uh, in the new classes. And I'm going to click into project one. I'm going to put my assignment in there, or the second version of my project one. And you can see that that's added to it. So we're in project one, which is inside the new class folder, which is inside the uh, My Drive folder. So if you ever need to navigate backwards very quickly, you can click on that and it'll take you back to a page. Or if I click there, you can see I'm back in the project ones. I can click on My Drive and that'll very quickly send me back to the My Drive section. It doesn't go forward, but that's not so much of an issue because then you just click the links down here. So that's all. Uh, go ahead and organize your Google Drive.